today mm. is the fourth of May. Ah, just ask for video. How to retreat that now? <笑>我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯我覺得我是湯
they become totally different. Then they can understand. Then the moment they lie down, the moment they sit, they already know how to relax, maintain awareness, and stabilize that thing. Then after that, they can do the real meditation. Means that relaxation take longer time. Then there are many stages of relaxation. Right? The body and the mind not so easy to relax. Right? If you don't have the understanding, uh, you find it very difficult to relax. Uh. Then that habitual tendency of the mind that constantly want to know, want to achieve, wants to compare, want to reason, want to that one take a long time uh, to actually let it go off on. Uh. But that one will keep on coming back. Where is a habitual tendency that you have for so long? It's a conditioning. And that is the characteristics of a mundane mind. You know. mm. So that mundane mind, uh, if it doesn't cease, uh, doesn't stop, uh, the clarity of the true mind, the silent mind, the awareness cannot surface. Uh. That's why I always say, don't try to know, don't try to do. So that one, you need to understand what, what is it all about. If I don't try to know, then how to be aware? Because they confuse the knowing and the awareness. To be aware is to know, they think. But to be aware is not to know. That's why I say aware, don't try to know me, is the awareness is there. The moment it chi like as perception, uh, you try to know it. Eh? Then let it be. Base aware, finish. Aware, finish. Near train down the mind, eh? develop the understanding to be aware more important than to perceive and think to perceive and think that is the usual way of the mind so you perceive and think uh, you will create views opinion and conditioning uh, that will continuously create more thinking proliferation of thought then you cannot meditate at it but because this thing is so new people who don't understand what cannot do it uh, this is very boring. Uh. I don't have any instruction to meditate. I don't have anything to know. I don't want to know anything. I blank my mind. Uh. They won't think like that. Uh. Then they say, and where finish means what? Sure, you will sleep one. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you, you got nothing to do. Uh. But the purpose of this type of awareness based meditation is not to do anything. Relax, maintain awareness. Aware, finish. Aware, let it go. Aware. So this new type of conditioning will stabilize your awareness nature so that the moment you are aware, you don't have to think. Then you can flow with the awareness. That's how the specific phenomenon awareness arises. Oh. Then aware, like, like I always say, ta, 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 aware, 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 aware. Uh, but in between, of course, aware, you don't continue. Lah. That's why I say finish up. Aware, space, aware, space, means aware, aware, aware. Let it be aware until suddenly the awareness slows down. Then it becomes a continuous thing, means that nature aware. Then, of course, if you are in a habit, there is a bit, no? there is a bit, no? aware, sis, aware, sis. Follow the habit no? until the habit becomes required, until the mind enters the deep. And all this not talk, nobody knows. That's why they have to go through the traditional method, technique, uh, conventional teaching, the chanting, the noting, because they need something to anchor the mind. And they don't know that it's because the mental hindrance are there due to the lack of stability of spiritual authority. So you don't know these two, you cannot focus on your training. If you know that you lack the spiritual faculty, you should train your spiritual faculty. How to train? That one is the teaching. You must faith in the Buddha through knowing the Buddha. How special the Buddha is. He's not only enlightened, he's fully enlightened. Then you have great respect for such a teacher in liberty. Then his teaching can awaken living being, free you from suffering. So from there, it gives you the faith. Then it 
push you to practice the area. Then after that, you determine to be mindful. That's how you develop the satya. Determine to be mindful. Every moment, away, away, away. The daily mindful. Once is like the mind want to take off or become heedless or not with the moment, you bring it back. You bring it back. Like Anapada Sati. Awareness of the in and out breath loss. Bring it back. This one is your awareness inside. Inner awareness loss. You bring it back. Determined to be aware from inside. Aware. 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 In the former easier. You can stabilize it. So, very stable. If you don't understand this, Even after you understand, you find it very difficult initially. Mm. So, it's because all along I've been teaching you all this time. There's some who try it out. Then they are able to be in that state in the form of meditation. Then you can relax until you can detect that gateway the nature. Then it becomes a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Then the daily religious routine, the complement this is very important. Mm-hmm. If you don't have the daily mind, you can't Then the teaching all are like not easy to follow. That's why you will start to develop that understanding more and more, more and more. Because they start to kind of as you go through that stability of inner awareness, the silent mind, the stability of the silent mind and the awareness. That how it becomes like you described that day, uh, the awareness nature become very subtle. But still everything becomes very then from there you come out. So all this will let you understand a lot of things. Like just to go through this is to go through the understanding of what that nature is and how that uh, pure awareness nature uh, become very sensitive. We become very like heighten the awareness heighten. Then because that time like the senses all oh, you don't need the senses already. The senses can be there, but the awareness is the common one, the universal one. Where the awareness that can be aware can become very sensitive one. You want to be aware of distant sound, you can. You want to be aware of your physical tactile or what you can. You want to be aware of your smell, taste or what. All these senses will be heightened. That's what that nature is capable of. But the problem with human beings is, they don't know what this awareness nature is. They straight away perceive and become the thought of it, the mundane. Uh, so he said, Wow, oh, I can hear, I can smell, I can taste. Pussy so tall. It's because you don't understand. Uh, that is the way of the mundane mind. That is the only instrument you have. Uh. That's why need you overlook the awareness. Uh. So every time the mind behave in certain way, the thinking coming. Mm. Once you do that, uh, you are back to the mundane mind, only, the heedless thinking mind. Means there is no awareness behind to witness, to understand, to insight in the phenomenon, to realize all this. That's why coming talk without, they cannot do it, it's because of that. So awareness, nature, the stability of it, is very important and the understanding of it. Otherwise, you go back to your thinking. You go back to your thinking. And when you go back to your thinking, uh, it's the old habitual way. Uh, and very fast people lost in thought. Mm-hmm. That's why, just say teaching, you say it's difficult, it's not difficult. But if you don't understand, it's very difficult. But it's not common, not taught. Seldom. And a lot of people are very interested in the Dharma aspect, the description of it and all thing, and the fantastic experience. Actually, the real experience is not the one from the mundane mind. Not for energy, if you concentration on the Uyi one, like a magic show one. The real one, don't have magic show one, but the awareness, aware one. And it understands, you know, through the awareness, it understands. You know, and no words one. So it's a totally different dimension of training, different dimension of competition.
So discuss 这些东西 more important. 要现在你们能够了解。有两个，三个。Rocky, even the last last Sunday of talk 啊，啊，怎样 ？No doubt is very simple, uh, very basic, uh, learning, sir. But I have been listening for about three times, sir. Each time I listen, I go like, oh, yeah, lah, oh, yeah, lah. Ah, to us, it's so basic that it's something that we have heard for maybe seven, eight years, you know. But every time we hear, we say. Yeah lah, yeah lah. I know, I know. But seriously, when when I listen to again, I go like, oh, sila sila. Ah, yeah, huh? Because it's it's something we take for granted. Right? It's like, oh yeah lah. It should be like this, like this, like this. Every time we hear brother talk, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But how much of it is really in in us? Yes, it must have the stability or understanding until it can manifest itself to your own. Internal understanding is you live that life that has the embodiment of this understanding. Means this understanding is with your form and mind. Ah, uh, then only you have the understanding. Otherwise, in knowledge, ah, uh, like Yun Chan, ah, uh, every time we have to hear ah, for the word, ah, yeah, you know, ah, kindergarten staff ah, Sunday school children study or ah, so you know, in the so ah. Then the tree turning off. Ayo, why you want to waste time on the tree turning? Say teach us how to do vipassana. Ah, how to get the jhana? How to get the insight lah? Ah, how to become enlightened? This the mind is chasing after what? Chasing after all the big word, the experience. Then the so-called enlightenment. Then they will put this monk, this achan, this whatever, side door, whatever. Huh? Wow, yes, very interesting. But do you really understand what is it that you are looking for? Is this what is being shared, the true dharma? Can you awaken through this? No way, man. That's why people are very gullible until today. Even Maya teaching also same one. You go every Mayana temple, they have their own way of teaching and all thing. That to them this is really good. You must do this. I just like this one. What was it, Man Yuan? The walking one. Who was the one person? Oh, Man Yuan. You knew it. Wow, the walking. Very visual. The eye must look how many degree down. Walk. What space? What this type of training you go and do? Rigid down, sir. You are not natural. It's not teaching you how to be aware. Teaching you that type of technique, that type of method. Him and what they like can read mind, can do this, can do that. Mind. To me, if you don't understand the basic teaching, you are wasting your time. So you see, go there, just say you explore, go there, just say. Now I want you to reflect back. Do you really have the real understanding? Miss, contemplate lah. Assume I don't know anything. Now I want to start the cultivation again with what I have learned, what I share, and everything that you have received as content. How you really wants to develop the understanding so that you can move, so that this understanding can be very stable in you. So that line after line, you come. You don't have to waste time on all those things. That one is very important. One. If on your own you cannot contemplate it out and write it out, ah, means you still don't have the stability. Then every time you meditate, ah, you will go back to the old way. One, just like PJ say, you think you know, but all this to you is still work. No, like Yun Chan, that still works. No, only those who really follow the instruction, ah, and go and try it out, ah, then they realize it is so beautiful. Then they realize that awareness nature, eh, so different, no, not like what other people say, no, no word, nothing, no. But the mind itself is a free mind. Without thought, no, can be like that, no. No need to focus, no need to concentrate, no need to do anything. Just relax, maintain, and just sort out. That's why you must have the understanding. Then give it a try. Not hard. Initially, it's very difficult, but. 
that mundane mind very easy to train. To train to be aware is to reverse the old habitual thing so that you don't allow the thinking to continue to proliferate. That's why the daily mindfulness that the Buddha teach Kayanuba is to anchor your awareness to your movement. When your awareness and the movement is one, you cannot think one. Understand? Not? It's just like you become very skillful in riding bicycle, or chu chai, or pao lu. It becomes spontaneous, automatic, just move. And during that time, you realize that uh, you just aware of your activity and movement. Uh, you become very skillful, very graceful. And you hardly think one. Uh, but if you are not skillful, not stable, you haven't done this, then you become like very lun uh. Then everything also must check with the recipe, the cookbook. Uh, like that cook, uh. then vegetable how much ma cut cut also not skillful uh. then we then fang jie is chu chu zhe yang zhu a of course it's a training la show bu hao chi de ma ni zhu dao shu shou liao a all become automatic liao you just know how to cut then you know what are the ingredients then quan bu yi qi man man zhu 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 a then you wen ha jie yang zhu zhu la you got it's a training ma uh. That's why once you train already, you know already, you don't waste time. You don't go and do all those unfruitful things. So the understanding to me is very important. Okay. So Yao Chi reflect, she contemplate. What is it that the Buddha really teach? That's why after that you won't be gullible anymore. She tada tong si yan ja jiang ni ting la. Ni ting liao ni zi dao de ho. Actually, no more meaning really. They don't know what they are trying to develop or share or teach. And a lot of the like the illiterate leading the illiterate, means the blind leading the blind. It sure get lost. Huh? And what is sati is very important, the awareness. The awareness is very important. The awareness nature is the one that differentiates the thinking mind from the true mind. And the true mind, yeah, the moment you realize it, uh, it becomes a totally new understanding. That is how the meditation starts to develop and take off. Without awareness, without sati, you cannot. That's why the spiritual vocal, after you have uh, sadha virya, sati must come out. Sati stabilize, it becomes samadhi. Uh, then with these two, you keep on seeing things, awakening, Inside in the field, that's why Panya will arise. So Sati and Samadhi is that silent awareness stabilized. Then the awareness, the alertness, the sensitivity is the one that see, understand, see, understand. The silent observation of what is the reality. No need to label, no need to use word, nothing. Just see, observe. Then without word, you understand. No? Then this is what the direct seeing is all. Then suddenly you like awaken. No wonder the universal characteristic is like that. When you saw uh, all the phenomena, how it actually moved, then the dependent origination, uh, the continuity of mindfulness and awareness that see this moment, uh, you will understand uh, what the Buddha meant by dependent origin. That everything is lian, lian si la, in a state of flux, continuous one. One leading to another, one leading to another. Dependent on this, that right? Dependent on this, that are. Then the whole thing is interconnected. One whole. Then, Niju Liao Jia Why the Buddha say this is a conditioned world? Conditioned world is dependent originating. No? We are dependent on condition, it arises, it unfolds. When condition is there, things arise. Ma. When condition ceases to be, things cease to be. Ma. So, this understanding all will arise. Then why the Buddha say for mind is a forerunner or thing? Then you realize from that nature, the moment you allow the thinking to start, it starts to perceive, it starts to create, it starts to give meaning, it starts to arise all of the phenomena world. Then everything comes to be, you know. That's why mind is the forerunner of all things. Mind is chief. And the Mandarin word is better. Each year, each year, we sing zhao. Means the mind create one. That's why mind is a forerunner of all things. Mind is chi means mind create. We sing chao. Chao chen the mind. True mind. So Dhammapada was one and two 
is about this mind. So, if this mind arrives, if it's the forerunner of all things, if it is the chief, then you must take care of this mind. That's why he said, if you are heedless, if you don't take care of this mind, if you allow this mind to do what he likes, then this mind will create all the delusion, the what they call the evil roots of greed, hatred, and delusion. And because of that, suffering will follow you. Uh, so, all this Dhammapada saying will become clear to you. Uh, it's not just the word anymore. So, mind is a foreigner, all things, mind is cheap. When mind arises, if you are heedless, you will give rise to the uh, evil roots of wrong thought, wrong speech, wrong action that will condition your suffering. That's why suffering will follow you. Uh. So the other Dhammapada words is a complimentary. Mind is a foreigner, all things, mind is cheap. When you understand this, if you choose to take care of mind, then you will arise a mind that is heedful, aware, that is free of the evil roots of greed, hatred, and delusion. And such a mind will bring about happiness in the here and now. So happiness will follow you like the shadow that never leaves. Then you tell yourself, it's so simple. If I want to live life, I will choose to be heedful, to be mindful. I will train my mind so that it will not arise the heedless thinking. It will not create the evil roots of greed, hatred, and delusion. It will not bring about downfall and suffering. So this is how you start. And to do this, you need to be mindful, to be aware. You need to train that mundane mind, stabilize it. Then you need to understand what constitutes evil, the three evil roots. Then when you understand already, you must see it in your daily life, in your formal meditation. In life itself. That's why the daily mindfulness, the awareness, all this needs stability or speed. Then all this understanding is the beginning. After that, the Buddha said, if you want to avoid all evil, means you must keep your precept. So that's how we start. No? When you understand what constitutes evil, you have mindfulness, then you can do something about it. No? That's why the precept is about we undertake the training rule to abstain. How can you abstain? You can't even see your greed. How can you abstain from being greedy, covetousness, uh, and possessiveness? You cannot. But you must see it first. The awareness, aware. The moment you aware, this is the evil, evil condition, evil action, evil speech, evil thought process. Then you have to abandon it. Then arise the right effort to abandon it, the five way. That's why all these are lian si, connected to the cultivation. Then the third way and the fourth way is to develop wisdom, understanding, so that you are not deluded by the phenomenal world. So that when mind arise, all these perception, views, opinion, conditioning, how it condition you into negativity to create the wrong speech, wrong action, and wrong thought process, you see them. And the moment you see them, you understand them, then you can go to the next right effort to prevent it from arising. Well, you know these are all wrong thought, man. has the evil root of them. Ah. Then once you know already, and now, like Alicia go through, we are through the depression, you saw or you witness. No? So is it, the moment you are aware, it ceases. The moment you are aware, it ceases. That one, you need to have stability or wisdom through the third way and the fourth way. When you realize when you just aware, don't do anything, it will cease, man. Means all this anger, envy, jealousy, fear, they are dependent or originating. Not intrinsic within our true mind. That's why that true mind, that awareness, that understand all this is very important. Then if I know it's dependent or originating, then I will not be so foolish as to say, I still have anger, I still have fear, my mind still not calm, I still have sankara. Who is saying all that? The thought. And who is the thought? The egoic mind that created all this. That's why the understanding will reverse itself. Then you realize the true mind doesn't create any of this. If fear is not me, anger is not me, hatred is not me, selfishness, greed, all the evils are not me, 
Then why I worry about it? I just away, finish. Away, stay, finish. Then if I want to deal with further wisdom, I trace the origination factor. How did craving arise? How did desire, lust arise? How did fear arise? Through the senses. When my views, opinion, and conditioning are not straightened, my old habitual tendency is there, I will react that way. I will behave that way. So this is what you see in the meditation. Then you have to awaken to it. Then you have to change. Please straighten your view. The next time I see, I hear, I smell, I taste, I take a few or thought, the wisdom must come out. Yoni so modern sikara. Means wisdom at the moment of sending. Means my Dhamma understanding must surface. This is what Yoni so modern sikara is. The Dhamma understanding teach me to see things as they are. How can I see things as they are? That's why I teach you all the shortcut way. No? People are just the way they are. Okay? The world is the world. Condition are that things. Will be. Means these are the Dhamma that the Buddha teach. So when you understand this, you can see things as they are and let things be. It's not to quote my word. If a teacher say let things be, or you just want to pose or something, this is not cultivation, right? Really. Or you go and say, hey, let things be, you know, don't do, hey, don't try to know. All this is knowledge, you know. Then you force people, okay, don't do, no. You just suppress your emotion. I mean, it's not true wisdom. Uh. You realize it and awaken it. It's very different one. That's why I say, don't quote me. But do, do until you see yourself. You under- That's why the Buddha always say, he can only show you the way. The Dhamma is always there. But the Buddha cannot make you enlightened. He can teach you how to meditate, how to develop this faithfulness and show you the way. You must walk the path and awaken yourself. So, all this, he cannot give it to you. You have to realize it yourself. It's like eating something. If you are hungry, you ask somebody to eat for you. Cannot. You have to eat yourself. Thirsty, drink. Cultivation is like that. Whatever you need, you have to have the faith, the sincerity, and the diligence to realize it. She told. That's why I don't have doubt. Just do. Then all this understanding will surface. Right? And you realize that right? all these things that I share, you see that why men don't know. No one can teach you this kind of The awareness to see, to understand, to develop. Then the essential Dharma, how to link the four right and wrong. The five way. They mention this in the teaching, but there is no understanding how to apply, how to really materialize the teaching to become a living reality so that you can understand. So, since then, you may stabilize all this, and then you become different. Then your cultivation becomes very different. Every moment, every instant, you are different. You are the Manasikra, you there. The Yoniso Manasikara, the understanding is there. Then you look at things also different, listen through all the senses, all become different. But the one that see and hear is the awareness. It's no more the egoic mind. The egoic mind is forever with the ego one. And the ego is the personality, the subtlety. And this is the one that has the ni or siang one. The I and the me one, the possessiveness one. The craving one, the desire one, the wanting one. Oh. Then when you don't understand, there is that one, then there is fear. Oh. Then you cannot get you want, you get angry, emotion. This is the form of mind, not you. And the form of mind, without wisdom connected, is always heedless one. Deluded, that's a tawi chona se tong si da. So ni liao chie le, just a big picture, uh, you go back and contemplate uh, and write it down. Uh and develop the stability of it. Then you won't be gullible. You won't be gullible. You won't be gullible. Then you won't be gullible. Then you won't be The speaker don't understand what he say. When he's teaching knowledge, he's teaching theory. He's teaching what is popularly accepted, humorous type of sharing. But may you real teaching, may you real understanding. There are many things you don't hear. Even the she listen to what they share, the words are there, but the real teaching may or the realization part, the awakening, 
的 true understanding 很少的，这些东西是很重要的，啊，不是说 every time you listen 的啊， yeah the five way but still you 教啊， the third way fourth way 最重要啊， but what they say is totally different， they quote the thing。But they don't understand the thing. They cannot apply the thing. Even if they can quote, they cannot. Who young? That's why. 到目前我还没有看到一个能够 link all the dharma together. All the dharma pada words that emphasize the important. 现在 what is being taught? Dharma pada words 的人就是 teach dharma pada 罢了。啊，好像讲故事这样嘛。哦，妈，是佛人的奥定位。Then after that, no examen I think. 啊，有人 explain to me what is this mind, the mundane mind, the true mind. You don't know. Then what is the self nature, the awareness nature? Some people don't know. You know what? So many things, ah, even the Maya, na also they got the Xin Jing, ah, like Zhao Jian Wu Yun Jie Kong, ah. Then the opening statement, ah, ah, form is emptiness, emptiness is form. So ah, Kong is Se, Se is Kong, Kong, ah, the other one is what? Kong is Se, ah. Then ah, Se is Kong. 啊、uh, ，then the other one is I forgot the name, <laughs> but the basis of it is form is emptiness, and emptiness is form, and form does not differ from emptiness. What does it mean? They will put to you and all say, but they cannot explain to you what this thing is. They use it as a teaching. Here is like very abstract one, very interesting one, like very profound one. Then they will teach you based on the Mahayana the text ah, or na se master or teacher give one that type of words ah, which are very beautiful ah. If you are enlightened, you can understand the word. But to people who wants to go through the training and understanding ah, 你这样教他没有用的哦，他不能理解的哦。So what you should share is to say, okay, how can form be empty? Correct or not? Form is emptiness, ma. Then emptiness is also form, ma. How you explain that? Ta, you three stages, so now who wants to try to explain? Why is form also emptiness? Emptiness is also form. And why in the second statement, form does not differ from emptiness? Emptiness does not differ from form. So ta, the meaning very deep, ma. Then how you apply the teaching to see this to awaken to this? That's why the sitting is the final product. Oh, that's why it's pratnya paramita, perfection of wisdom, paramita. Anybody want to try? Form is empty. Ah, you try. Okay, sense is empty. Hmm. So this sense, hmm, is our so-called form. Hmm. Actually, the sense is the reality of four elements. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, but in this so-called four elements, we also have another. 我们的 self、啊、就是那个你的在里面，啊、所以是在在空里面，它它还是不是 totally 空、嗯？就好像比方说，我们在这个空间里面，嗯、在个屋子里面，然后那些你讲没有，呃，就是或者是在 all this 啦，但还是有空气在里面啊，对不对？其实它不是完全是空，就可是我们还是有一个你就在里面，就是。当我们在我们的 nature 里面，其实这一切都不存在。啊，这一切就是说，来，你呃，我们的五蕴啊，什么什么，就是什么都没有，就是只是一个 awareness。嗯。所以，就是我们所谓的我们在 meditation 里面看到的，就是一个 nature， 不，这些全部都不存在。对对。啊。当可是那个是呃，讲这那个是啊、呃，里面的那个一另外一个 part 就是我们的理智。当我们回来这个呃，因缘法里面、嗯、就是另外一个 part，、yeah, 对,对吧？因缘法里面我们就是有有的话就是说，嗯、因为它是 dependent on relation，、yeah, 那个因缘法怎样的去 manifest、yeah, yeah, yeah, 就是有一个有字。那可是那个有是怎样去？我们怎样去呃，把它有呢？是其实我们的心所 manifest 出来所有所有的一切，嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯、这个是我一点点的 understanding。有，比如你你 from 那个 nature， 你就能够悟到吧？你没有 stability or understanding to explain。对。So the stability to un explain will make this more clear。嗯。
so that you all can learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first verse is form is empty. So, you or you need the now time, the Monday mind, to think. Form is solid. Why is it form? If you use your brain, your Monday mind to go and think and reflect, then you will become very like curious, man, and like. You don't believe, ma. What type of teaching is it? Form is form, ma. So solid, ma. How can it be emptiness? Then how can emptiness become form? Then the Monday mind yeah. like to differentiate thing, ma. Like to create concept to say this is form, ma. And this is without thing is empty, ma. Like Alicia said, scientists will know who say empty still will air inside, ma. It's not vacuum, ma. Space vacuum, empty, ma. But what the teaching is trying to teach is not about scientific term. Understand or not? It's something to do with Alicia's understanding from the cell nature. This awareness understand how all this come about through Yin Yan Fa. Means all these are phenomenal of consciousness and form. Then they are dependent originating condition arising. So this understanding is very important. That her stability of understanding cannot allow her to explain clearly. So the explanation that the Buddha gave uh, for those who understand, which I have shared many times since 2004, but you all heard, but you all cannot remember or relate. But you all don't see. The first one is form is emptier, emptier is form. So the easiest way to understand is Originally, before this form arise, what is this space? You can say it's empty space, la. although got air, la. you want to argue what? Then when this form arise, does it occupy the same space? Yes. As such form is emptiness, emptiness is form. This form does not differ from the empty space. Differ from emptiness. And emptiness does not differ from this form. They are one together. La. Understand or not? That is the first aspect. Mm-hmm. La. That's why you can see this means you can see creation. No? Mm-hmm. Then the second aspect is how did this form arise? Come from where? Like Alicia, he know it's dependent. It's, you must get the carpenter, you must source the material. Then he finish it all, put a marker and sell, you go and buy, I go and buy, then deliver, then exist already, oh? like the bullock cut analogy that the Buddha gave. Oh? You take the parts away, like this one, then this table is gone, this form is gone. We put them back together, when the condition comes together, this one arrives. That's why this is why form is unreal, empty nature. Form is dependent originating, condition arising. When condition arise, it arises. Mm-hmm. Then I add in something like the block card. You give it a concept because it performs a function, understand? Mm-hmm. Then you call your block card. Mm-hmm. And this one performs a function of a table. Then you give it a name. No? Then this form has a name. No? That's a name and form. No? Mm-hmm. Understand? No? Mm-hmm. Name and form. So, when you understand this are condition arising, then I know there is no reality. When conditions cease to be, it cease to be. This one can get disappeared and destroyed. People can steal or it can over time damage or gone. So this second aspect is very important. The yin yang form means everything in the phenomenal world is like that one. Dependent or genuine condition. No reality one. That's why we call it empty nature at this time. 它是空性的，它本来就是空啊。Mm-hmm. Before anything arise, that nature choose to come. Mm-hmm. Then things come about later, mm-hmm. and this thing exists for the duration of how the supporting conditions support it. Mm-hmm. The supporting conditions is to be, is to be one. But to see in the meditation is very important. That's why you must see the moment of the arising of the phenomenon, the sustainer and the cessation of it. Means simultaneously. That's why every moment when you're continuous, mindfulness is there, awareness. 
every moment of phenomena is like that one. Ha you started sun, then sustained and ceasing. Sun made, sun made, fast one is like that. But you say last for a while, like my voice, as long as I continue to speak, it will sustain itself. Then when I continue to cease to be where I stop, cease. Is my voice real? It's a phenomenon. It's not real because it's dependent on originating. Ma. I speak only it arises. Then when you can perceive it, you see it exists. Ma. To somebody far away cannot hear, he will argue with you when you sound. That can be done. So in yen fa is for you to realize through your nature that everything is dependent on you. And we have a form of addition. The four element. She forgot the senses. Ah, the senses is the one. That can animate us into a human being to eat, to become conscious of what we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we taste, what we take, what we feel, and think. And this is how we arise, how we become a human being. And this one is not you. This one is chemically conditioned out for you to come to this world, a vehicle and a tool to live life, to experience, to understand all this. Then, how do you know this is a table? The third stage of seeing form is emptiness. Emptiness form. How do you know it's a table? How do you know it's a block card, a TV? How do you perceive my words? Yeah, two perception, ma. Understand? Ah? So what is perception? Just an image, ma. The inverted image of what you see. Understand? Ah? Reflected here. Externally, already dependent originating condition arising, not so real already. Then how do you know this table is through your mundane mind that perceive it, ma? This perception is just an image, you know. How real can it be? How solid can it be? Just like the thought. How can thought have power over you? What is a thought? Arise and pass away. Arise and pass away. Impermanent, empty. Why can't you see that and allow thought to have such power over you? So all these are the dharma that you can realize through the awakening. Without the awakening, you cannot realize. So, Nihan, how do you know that this is a table, this is a TV? It's through your perception. And what is perception? It's just an image, right? just like your thought. It's mind, right? mind made, right? just image, energy. Right? So, how come it has power over you? How come this perception can create you to react? Cause you to react, cause you to give meaning, cause you to become heedless, cause you to have attachment, craving, desire. You must see, just like Krishna Mote said, you must understand the power of thought, the power of thought to divide, to delude, to cause all this division, to cause the conflict, the argument, and the misunderstanding. And what is that mind? That is the mundane mind. The mundane mind that doesn't understand will get entangled. But the nature that has the awakening and the wisdom that see all this clearly is not deceived. It's just an image. It's just a thought, five aggregate, mental aspect. Understand? Kong feeling is empty, perception and everything. The analogy also the Buddha gave you the five analogy. But they study the five analogy or the five aggregate, they don't know how to apply. That's why at least the Mahayana says, Zhu Mong Huan Pao Yi. They can apply it and say, no. Mong is like dream state. La. Actually, perception, all these, uh, the consciousness, uh, when you sleep, you dream, uh, is actually the subconscious release and the unconscious release. They are just consciousness. That's why Zhu Mong. Uh, Huan is an illusion, no? it's deceiving you, no? it's creating illusion for you to see. No? Pao is like bubble, no? feeling, no? come and go, come and go. Split second, feeling arise and pass away. Arise. It's a continuous arising and passing away of that tactile feeling. And you call it pain, here it lasts. No? So, do not be deceived by the continuity that the consciousness will lead to the final one, the Vinyanang. Maybe Vinyanang is 
the consciousness part. Whatever you become conscious of. When you become conscious of what you see, what you hear, what you breathe, or smell, taste, technology, feel and think, how come you can be deceived by it? The phenomenal world. Deluded. Monday mind. Which it lashes on it, give meaning, and create proliferation of thought, and condition you into misery. Into creating all the evil roots of tangency. Then, condition your karmic uh, negativity. So, this is what you're supposed to see. Like Krishnamurti put in a better way. To understand the limitation of thought. How thought divide. How thought create reality and all those things. That condition living being to deludedly grasp things and uh, entangle themselves. Lah. So all this understanding, when you are mindful and aware, you start to see. No wonder, last time before I know the Dhamma, I was like that. I got anger, I got hatred. But anger was never me, hatred was never me. What I perceive, this is not what it is. The reality is, like the enlightened Zen master, he point to this table, he said, what is it? The disciples say, table, you whack the ball. You say you enlighten, you still got table. When you see things as they are, no name one. The second level of seeing, Kan San, Si San, Mandi, Si, you know? Kan San, Bu, San, is because the direct seeing, don't have words on. No reality what? You see with your nature. And there is no image, nothing. Wrong. The true mind. That's why it's awareness that is aware. Where it's aware, don't have name. That's why there is no words, no concept. Because no word, no concept, it doesn't divide. No fear, no worry, no deal. Everything also sits on. That's why it's tranquility, stillness, awareness. With the true mind, got none of all this one. No emotion, nothing on. No words to describe or say anything on. <coughs> and this is how you should see things on. The direct seeing, the understanding. But you have to live in a world. The phenomenal world, do you like it or not, exists. This form and mind exists. Subject to karma. That's why this thing and this thing must harmonize through the understanding of the conditioned world. The conditioned world has its own set of reality. That's why this one, even though everything is empty, not real and all this thing, but you have to do your duty. <coughs> you cannot simply do thing one. This is a complicated part. Understanding the unconditioned Dhamma and then understanding the unconditioned Dhamma to allow these two to manifest in that form and mind with that wisdom is to understand life. Otherwise, you cannot understand life one. Then you will be very confused. Huh? The Buddha said, Nonsense, how come now I am born of my karma, heir to my car, condition by my karma? And what I am So all these things will make you very confused. So the third level of seeing is supposed to allow you to break free from all this form. So that form has got no more power over you. The whole phenomenal world of form will collapse in front of you. But they are dependent originating on Externally already not so real. Ma. It's not a permanent and changing entity. Ma. Then how do I know it's a form? Through my perception, ma. which is just an image, even more unreal. Ma. Then why do you grasp onto it? Why do you cling onto it? Why do you become miserable over it? Fighting over it? Craving for it? Grasping for it? Not necessarily this table or not. It can be anything in this world. Your property, your wealth, your loved one, your whatever. So all this is applicable to the whole of the phenomenal world. That's why the Dhamma is when you awaken, it is totality. Not that knowledge or that particular thing. It's different. One. That's why wisdom is not rigid one, not a knowledge. It's not a particular knowledge. It's wisdom. When you understand, means you understand what? When it applies to all things. What? So, in Yen Fa is the second stage of seeing. The third stage of seeing is the direct seeing. When you have the direct seeing, you know there is an image, that through memory you create, 
Then through your views, opinion, and conditioning, it causes you to grasp and claim. Then you have to reverse all this through an understanding. That's why you have to straighten your view. How to straighten your the Buddha says sitting as they are. So when I sitting as they are, there is nothing. Not what you think. Everything is following this law, dependent on you. The world is the world. The people is the way they are. So when you can see all this, you can accept what is the reality, you become at peace. But then there are things that you have to resolve, understand how? Well, when you come to this world, this form and mind got its own requirement and needs. It needs its own uh, help and all those things. So you need to take care, you take care. <coughs> then it needs some form of support, food and shelter, financial or whatever. You work towards it, understand or not? You don't go and crave for it. You use the Dharma understanding, following the advice of the Buddha to avoid all evil, do good, then cultivate wholesomeness. Means merits, blessings. All this will come to you. Then it will support you. Then your nature, you have a beautiful karmic nature, you have a beautiful spiritual, all this understanding will come. Then life after life, you got no more problem. This is the big picture. This is the big understanding that people must have. But who has this understanding? Even Alicia, ta tong, ta jiang bu chu. Even the stability of understanding is not there. But now I have said so much clearly. I was trying to let you understand this, so that later when you get lost, this stability will come out. Ah, but at the moment, a lot of these stages of seeing. You need to reflect, contemplate, silence your mind, and develop the meditative. Her advantage is, she has that silent awareness of nature. She knows from here everything arises. That's why she knows what it is. She can understand what we are saying, share it. But she cannot have the stable understanding to explain all this clearly to people. So the Heart Sutta. You you go and read out all the book and go and listen to all the sharing. Who which Dharma teacher can explain like that? I haven't seen anyone. Xuan Huang only explained the first stage. Form is empty and empty. That one not bad. The first stage. Se Bu Yi Kong Kong Bu Yi Se. At the retreat also I showed you before. This space originally was empty. Then. How does this form arrive? It arrive later. It occupy the same space. That's why that word, ah, form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Then form does not differ from the empty space that is inside. That's why emptiness does not differ from form. Ah, so you are in many what? Se bu yi kong kong bu yi se, is it? Se ji shi kong, kong ji shi se, is it? It's the same one, and this is the real meaning. They say until now, 你们都说不出。他说是，他说很容易的。But 你没有真的 have the direct seeing 啊。你怎样去了解这些东西？你怎样去悟到这些东西 ？You you will never never going to have that understanding. But it is very simple. 嗯 ，But 我们。以为是 very abstract teaching 啦，哎， form is empty 呢， empty 呢 is form 咯， you understand 啊啊，那个就很厉害啦，在外面很多人讲啊，你好啦，对吗？ you want to impress people 吗？哎， you go study hard sutta 咯，啊， you attend hard sutta class 咯，啊， a lot of people tell me， oh， you attend hard sutta class， 哇，那个老师几厉害几厉害， all this mainly is knowledge。The actual understanding behind the explanation is not that. So for that, and this I was 二零零四我就教了。呀啦，已经讲了的，是二因缘法里面也讲了的。But 你们能够吸收多少啊 ？And after I explain, it's only mainly the 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 the. Understanding, which is more knowledge aspect, where you haven't really awakened to it. When you awakened to it, as well, Krishna Muti's word become very clear. One, then the Buddha's 
Dharma Pada was all become very clear. What me you do go the the Dharma Pada? Why we eat? Hing down. Even now, I just know he's talking about what. Hitfulness. Oh, how did I understand? Mine is a foreigner. How did I understand? I'm not even mentally educated. But because my nature from the past already developed this understanding, like we know, I hear truth, I understand. That's why it is like that. So the more teaching is not what the human mind needs. You use the mundane mind to approach it, you cannot understand. So cultivation has its own beauty when you understand. But you don't understand that time, ah, you really cannot start. It's not easy, ah. Radio, I think the turning point of a lot of our cultivation is the realization of sati. Yeah, sati. Where we are able to silent to a certain extent, extent, ah, and then we start to see the difference. Yeah, the the actual movement of phenomenal everything, ah. To link all this, ah, to understand all this without even a single word or concept or verbalization, means that nature observe. They say, "Don't try to know." They say, "Maintain mindfulness awareness." The understanding will come by itself. Ah, he will understand. Ah, he will awaken. Ah, without all this, I'm not even mentally educated. I not even ah, this I'm not even mentally educated. I not even ah. Train in the Mayana teaching when I come. I don't know anything about Buddhism and Mayana when I came as a child. Then how did all this understanding arise? It came from my past. Then when is the truth? Ah, very strange, ah, no. The nature can understand. Oh, and no, dear. That's why the Mayana teaching, ah, if the English translation is wrong, ah, I will know. Ah, the meaning doesn't stand out. Ah, so so far. Chen Hua Wan, okay lah, quite good lah. That's why I like to use his commentary, although long-winded and all those things lah. But he got his own understanding and experience. But I like to use it as a format lah. Because some of the part he explained is quite good lah. Actually, quite good lah. So, you you need to really be sincere, have faith, and diligently Go and contemplate, reflect, and understand. Then you cultivate. You move very fast. Huh? Do what you have to do. The important one, uh, especially the big stabilize it until it become ever mindful. Then you see things differently. Uh, you understanding differently. All these teaching come from the big one, the silent one, leading to heedfulness. Hopefully, after the journey, you all can understand that. Uh, uh, mm. Then the other aspect of the Heart Sutta also same one, very profound. Zhao Jian Wu Yun Jie Gang. How does he illuminate and realize that they are all empty? Kong Xin Ha. Very profound one. When he was cultivating the perfection of wisdom, Mi Tuo Jin Sa. Guan Zi Zai Bu Sa. So all this, because how did he illuminate into the five scandals and realize that they are all empty? They said, "Wu Yun Jie Kong." That is the final summary. Why is it Kong? It's actually the Theravada teaching. What is Wu Yun? Se Shou Xiang Xin Si. Why are they empty? Because the Buddha teach they are impermanent first. The Theravada level you have to teach like that. Unless you see impermanent, you cannot see suffering. Because impermanent will lead to suffering. Because everything change, ah, it's not eternal. You know, you cannot forever young, forever good, forever handsome. Cannot. It will be a teacher. Because it's just a yin yang bar. Because impermanent will lead to suffering. Impermanent means they are dependent on getting condition. Otherwise, they won't be impermanent. They have follow condition, they arise. Huh? Then, according to condition, they sustain themselves. Then, when condition ceases to be, they cease to be. That's why sun meet, sun meet. Then, yin yang fa, si er yin yang fa. Then, from there, you realize 
is subject to a nature's law, law that governs life and existence. If one takes your way, which is not in accordance with nature way, the universal characteristic of suffering will arise. That's why the first number two say, when you cannot get what you want, when things don't go your way, especially your moment, you suffer. That is precisely the meaning. So the other one are just reality that support all this. Sen lao ping si ah, birth, old age, sickness, and death ah, is a natural process of the form. The form will go the way of nature one. That's why it's subject to all this decay, sickness, and death one. So if you want things your way, which is not nature's way, you will suffer. One. That's why the Buddha teach the five daily contemplation. No, this nature of mind, this body of mind, yeah, it's of the nature to grow old, get sick, and die. For it's not gone beyond old age. It's for you to see. This is not you, not a reality. That's why it empty. It doesn't go the way of nature. It come and it go. It has its supporting condition, the three condition that support the arising of the human being or the form of mind. And the supporting condition ceases to be. It ceases to be. That's why it's empty, not real. So if you see impermanent, you will see dependent origination. You will see suffering. Then you will see non-self and empty nature existence, and these three combined is emptiness, Kong Si. That's why Theravada he teach these three universal characteristics. Mahayana that realize the nature one, straight away know it's empty. Well, this is all dependent on creating condition arising causal phenomena, no reality, no opposite. But the Buddha teach the three universal characteristics, so that is like. Easier for people to understand one leading to another, but the teaching that is taught today is no more than that. They are taught as independent teaching, universal correction or impermanent. Ah, you don't know impermanent. Ah, ah, then they give you example. Ah, everything is in a state of flux, change, 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 change. Is that impermanent? Nature's law also not in war, but teacher Samupada also not in war. Ah, you talk about impermanent. This is a long chip at all. 不会教，不会 ，they know how to teach， 嗯、um, ，because the physical law has its own law， scientific law has its own law， the mental has its own law， 四二因缘法是 mental， that's how no， but 因缘法 the overall one that Mahayana come came out with one， 而且第二代没有 include 那个因缘法的，也<笑> just say dependent originating， 可能就 that one apply to the mind one， 四二因缘。But woman, Hawaii, Mahayana, the Yin Yan Fa is very important. Yin Yan means condition arising, causal phenomena. Yeah, that's why we are always talking about the Yan Zi. If there is Yan, there is Yan. If there is no Yan, there is no Yan. If there is no Yan, there is no Yan. So everything also about Yan, Yan. Good and bad also about Yan. So. All this understanding is very profound. Ah,、uh, then Amolang 就是要拿几个字 combine 起来才那个问言跑出来。啊、uh, ，condition arising 啦 ，causal phenomena 啦 ，dependent originating 啦 ，affinity 啦，啊、uh, ，all these words put together only 一个言字啊，因缘法嘛，缘起缘灭嘛，啊，所以。That's why you must know both one, the English and the Mandarin. You must know both one. Then the meaning stand up one, no? The meaning really stand up one. That's why the Yin Yan Fa, the Yan Qi Yan Mei, a very beautiful description. <laughs> Then the Diamond Sutta one also. Each year you wei fa, you wei fa, you wu wei fa, very beautiful one. Condition dama and the unconditioned dama, you wei fa, condition dama. That's why each year, those are Yin Yan Fa, no? They call it.、Uh, so Yin Yan Fa, what? Look, a more what Dharma affinity, ah, no gam le, ah, Fa is Dharma, lah. Yan is affinity, lah. This is not good, eh? That word, Dharma affinity. Ah,、uh, what kind of、uh, Dharma affinity? Actually, it's Fa Yan, eh? No gam, eh? It's Yin Yan the Fa. That one is a big picture, no? Beautiful, yes. Beautiful, yes. Beautiful, yes. Remember, there's one verse, Brother, recite. We can't really, you know, 
啊，是魔有魔，正道正道才有魔，越魔越光亮，光亮更要魔，魔到露出越现出本来。那我等会鲜花里再用，嗯，鲜花不一次不了，你们。Yeah, the kid is because the dharma all inside there. Because it very very is that more you more 真道。真道才有魔 ，which is true 啊。Mara only attack those follow cultivating the way one 啊 ，trying to find the way one 啊。但是真道才有魔，因为 referring to Mara Mayana teaching one。比如 ，when you go into the true cultivation 啊 ，initially is the more will come and attack you when you got karmic 呃 obstruction everything one。So it will come and obstruct you and do all those things one 啊。哎，真道才有魔嘛，越魔越光亮 ，Miss more polish 啦，光亮更要魔嘛，以至于你 shine already 啊 ，you must polish it further 啊，哎 ，polish until it shine so that the two Buddha nature can arise 哦，所以现出本来佛咯，哎，哇 ，is a very beautiful poem 啊，嗯，嗯。No such thing, one. Ah, yeah. You don't go and believe all those people. Because when you meditate and chant, you have your merits and all, but whether you understand lah, what is meditation? You go and do one pointedness, focusing one energy, then you attract the mara lah. Yes, it's like kong wu ah. You understand what is kong wu? Jiang wu ah. Jiang wu is swordsman one ah. People will challenge you one ah. So you cultivate energy field, you are like a Kong Wu Lo, not really cultivating the real Dhamma. Dhamma, pure Dhamma, Mu Ye one. Nothing to show, no Kung Fu, no psychic, nothing one. That one they say is not Kung Fu, they don't want to cultivate. That's why they go to energy field, Yap, I will mean here, I will manifestation, I will energy. That's how they get. The two, ah, gullible, lor. So the fellow who tell your brother also don't understand one, ah. Then some they say you eat garlic, they come after you. You don't take care of karma, what you eat also they come after you. I tell you, you play with this type of thing, ah, you are inviting trouble one. So it's nothing to do with that. It's just like telling your brother feng shui lah. Ah, so hey, your house bad feng shui. Oh, they tell you, your house face what direction? No good. Feng shui no good. Ah, or you sleep underneath a beam, no good. What the hell, man? You stay in the condo, how many story high? All the beam everywhere. Make stay condo no good. It's not feng shui lah. Not all this missing lah. This is some high mind zone. Tradition beliefs nothing to do with the dharma. The dharma is nature's law, very clear. Take care of karma, karma take care of life. Because the Buddha already said, you are born of karma, heir to your karma condition, you are what you are before your karma. There's someone to believe all this type of thing that we will tell you. Forget about it. Because there are cases where you go to a new place, or you buy a new house, then you do renovation, then the non-human is inside there. They don't know what the hell you are doing. So they attack you ah. That's why there are a lot of people kena. Last night, Jambaka got one couple came and see me, young couple. 30 years old, make some money, bought a house, do renovation. They say before they do renovation, ho ho an. No, more ho ho an. With their in-law also ho ho an. After they started renovation, until Leong Kung Po also got divorced up. The contractor also argue that everything not right. They are not human culture. Then they happen to be in Chembaka. Then they saw my class. Ah, then they came to my class. Then somebody told them, "You go and ask the detective. I think he can help you." So they came and asked me. 
Then he supposed to be a Buddhist, though, this couple. Then I say, what do you do? Then he told me, oh, I say, very likely there are non human in your house. Ah. He said, but I already went to the temple, they give me the chanting tape, oh, I play, I become worse. You know why? You know what? It's like you challenge them, Be your vibration is like that. You challenge them, you want to challenge them, they also got their gang one. They also can call their gang and whack you one. That's why he said, become worse. I see, I never ask you to do all this. Who asked you to do all this? That's why the fellow tell your brother you do all the chanting, you can attract the non human. It's, your people don't understand. They say all this parita, parita chanting, very powerful, got triple gem. Boy. What are you doing? You do without understanding. What is important is talk to the non human. Our society is different. When I pay money, I buy, I got ownership. But I understand you are here before me. So you are welcome to stay. And I hope you can help protect this place. And then uh, they will become very happy on. Then I will make this place better for you. And I will give you a space. Wherever you want, you let me know. I tell you, they will support you. And there's a lot of harmony. You must talk to them. This non human can hear you on uh. any dialect also they can hear. Cling. Wow, it's a second. <laughs> yeah, they don't look at the word one. They look at your consciousness one. Uh, the non human is the mind to mind one. Uh, they they don't because yeah, they cannot speak one. But they can understand what you say. Uh. Your fear also they can sense it. Uh. Yeah, their consciousness is at least 10, 20 times uh, much more sensitive uh, than when they are trapped in the body. You know, when they are trapped in the body, our brain uh, create the mundane thinking, the karmic conditioning, everything. When they are out, uh, they are free of all this. Uh. Then there is no pain, nothing. Uh, where the physical body that is sick and having the pain, all gone. Uh. That's why when they are out, uh, they are completely free. That's why sometimes you hear from these people who pass away. Uh, oh, what a lot, they said. It's because they actually free from the body, they feel so relieved. But that one is a random or conscious, it's not them already. But later on, they see and one, yeah, nobody recognize them, nobody know them. Then the life force dispersed. Ah. Or they will roam around, then they realize they cannot touch, cannot eat, all the senses, no point, cannot. Because no physical body. Okay. The remnant of consciousness, right? ah. is it linked to this nature? Post link or not link you know how to meditate the awareness is there one then the awareness link to the nature without the awareness it cannot link one the woman the normal the learn the true mind is there the nature is there all the time how come they cannot link you more young the awareness of consciousness is what is balanced pao chu lai liao pao chu lai liao you have all the memory one the storage everything in the form of consciousness but the brain cell all uh, is not connected. But you can know one. I can still know my brother, what he say, I can still hear. I can still like talk to him, but he cannot hear me. Yeah, I came out before. Uh. That's why I know all this one. Right? So this thing is just a consciousness. Then later I cannot go in, uh, my own body, I cannot go in. This actually I die, you know, at the age of it. That's why it's for me to see, for me to understand. Uh. And this one here can come out. Uh. And there is separation of the consciousness from the form. But the people come here for help. Understand or not? And this is not the real you already. But the line never fall my mind, yeah, person ma, but it is subject to karma. That is also subject to karma. But that one no physical, cannot harm people, understand or not? So it also sia sia isia la to get eerie the energy. Not say pussy heavy karma. But when you have the physical body, you are capable of a lot of nonsense. <laughs> Some more to talk to the. They say Sayan Fong Fong, not ready to not to. We need to learn how to speak. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, we will express the truth. Yeah, express the truth, you can't do it. Like today, if you have a condition to answer Alicia's sinner, I cannot share all this. Mm. You have to respond. Mm. Otherwise, I realize uh, that. It, Every time I share, my thing go in the I mean, you talk a lot of things, you don't think about it. Actually, Brian has talked a lot of times, and I don't think about it. Never go in. 
，什么是假象？假象就是因缘法啊 ，the past come together，、嗯、then it perform a function. You give it a name. That word is very important. b e c a u s e it perform a function 嘛 ，so block cut exist 了。那拆散了，那个 condition 没有了 ，all the part dispersed 了 ，where is the block cut？ 不存在了咯。So what is real? What is unreal? What exists and what doesn't exist? All are my make. 一切有为法，如梦幻泡影 ，no reality one. And image 完了 ，how do you know it's a table? How do you know it's a block cut? You perceive it not through the mental image, and how real can that image be? It's just consciousness. 一点点这样嘛 ，image. And image come and go, just like the thought. No, come and go. How come you got such power over you? Deceive you. 就比方我们呃看到那个好像阿松那天呃那个画如如梦幻泡影，你看到这这四样东西 ，no reality one. Mong is you you dream that time you also create subconscious and unconscious dream. These are actually subconscious release and unconscious release are images in the mind only. No reality. So when you perceive something, it's just this image only. Without the you're seeing all ah the laterally inverted image ah is what you see. Then the perception of sound vibration is all different ah not image lah but. That that perception itself is an aggregate, ma. So that mind can create the aggregate of perception. Then through memory, it can recall, it can perceive one. Like somebody opening the door, the bird chirping, you can perceive, ma. Low soy, gun jui gun liao, you can perceive, ma. So all this is perception, the power of mind to perceive that the hot and cold, you can perceive. And that's all. Then comfortable, uncomfortable. You can perceive. Then your mind has that ability, one. And that ability to perceive is an aggregate of mind, one. So it's not necessarily an image. It's just an energy, energy, heightened energy through memory. Ah, then it become a concept, an idea. Ah, well, perception create words, one. Creates concept. Then from there, your views, opinion, habitual tendency, conditioning, all come in. No, then input the content of consciousness. The same, you the mind will you come out the moment of contact, the moment of feeling, the moment of conditioning. How the even arise, how the content of consciousness go in to create the delusion and all those things. You must see all this, then you understand. Mind make are they? Otherwise, theory ma liao. Oh, brother, still say I'm not make ah de ah. You can see, you repeat what I say. You can see how you input your mind. You 做不到，你讲不出的。你讲出来，我问多两个个声，你就完蛋。啊，你将来有到我教试试。Yeah, the tourist book will you see? Oh, twin tower, you a bridge link after that. You 讲到五头五尾啦，再 KL 啊 ，at one time dollars in the world pass it all long. All the data you know lah. 我问你怎样去，你讲不出来。你没有去过吗？去到哪里看到什么 ？Go by taxi, go by LRT, go by bus. How all different? 那进去了，第一个看到什么在里面？你讲不出了，别。You never been there before 吗？这这个东西没得偏的。我讲出来，我都不怕你们 imitate 啊，别。你不能够 sustain that type of knowledge. That type of knowledge need reality, the experience to realize that one. You have not realized that. Ah, you can quote me, say the exact word, but you can't do it. Even you cannot express the thing to us. And people who understand one, ah, ask you a few questions, you can't do it. That's why you saw for we ask us a reporting, ah, ah, how you feel your. So the way you answer, I will know. Oh, eh, that's something I tell again. You 真的还没有真的 stabilize and 看到啊，那那是外星奇定的啊。She go and project and assume it's going to be like that. She thought 她做过的，没有就是没有的，做不到就做。因为我问几个问题啊，那那时候 I told her 嘛 ，the actual thing doesn't happen like that. 
you know, these are all standard one, no? very clear one. No? That's why the one who awaken, uh, no need same word, no need same language, uh, you know each other one. The way they describe, you will know, you can't tell it. Realize it. Otherwise, they can't put it. Sometimes they use their own word, uh, which is very good. Use their own word as a man. Yeah, everybody the training differently. Mm. Uh, like this image up there. If you ask students, he will describe it differently. Mm. It's a quite low, you will describe it. It's an Asian, you will describe it differently. Mm. Even this style, artificial power. So how we perceive, how we describe, uh, that thing is still the same, no? Common to all, no? Everyone that have the direct seeing will see the same thing. But how you describe it depends on your background. An illiterate like learning, he will describe it in his own illiterate way. But it's very beautiful. Huh? The example he gave, you can't go on. Oh, she pay all Until that nun also salute him. That nun said, You two also put tongue, ah, ni hui chow for fa. So that nun don't believe. Look down upon him. He said, Yeah, I put tongue. And uneducated, ma. But you read to me, ah. I can explain to you. Ah, you say where you got that one? Si do put tong. Ah, tell what to get it. You will explain to me for far to them. But the way she read, ah, the way we don't understand, ah, is totally different. That's why he described to her until she also salute him. Wow, oh, because the example he give uh, is very clear cut one. Like like if you are naive without any conditioning, uh, you think uh, and things, you know, yeah, uh, so simple also cannot understand. Uh. So for Fa Jim Sis Yang Ni Ching Chu Mel, uh, it's just like four and yeah, yeah. to me it's very clear. How come people go and think and you like very abstract. Everything is just like that, as it is. Uh, of course, even if it's difficult, uh, without mindfulness, you cannot see. Uh. But the first level is quite easy. Uh. Form is empty, empty. Form, form does not differ. Uh. That word is very important. Does not differ. Why does not differ? Because they occupy the same space. Uh. That emptiness does not differ from form. When they occupy the same space. Uh. Uh, but form is empty and you form you need the second explanation in yan fa. When the dependent origination condition arising, then only arise. Then that form is actually emptiness. Emptiness is actually form. Which is correct. Uh, but the third stage of seeing is beyond that two already. How do you know the image of uh, that one? So far I mean that master explained for. Even the second one also very rarely explained. The second one is the block energy of the Buddha the best. Uh, but how many people know they apply the teaching? Then the third one is to understand emptiness home. Emptiness doesn't mean some to me. It's home sing. Mm. Empty nature of existence. Existence is actually empty. Uh, yeah, actually the word empty nature yeah, is better, it, rather it's a very Powerful word, empty nature, existence got no reality. Kong Sing. That's why you say empty is not nothing. It's not everything, also not that. Yet, this meaning is so profound, everything arises from it. And because it is a nature, empty nature, all existence ultimately is empty. That's why you born in the middle, you come empty. You go also empty. You cannot think along anything. That all of conditions that arise, they are dependent on anything. It's all empty. It's not a permanent unchanging entity. That's why it come and go, come out. Just like our memory, since birth until now. We cannot deny we exist through this period. We are born. We existed until now. But is it a reality? You can only recall back to memory. Apart from that, no more reality, you're all gone. No? They said the past is already gone. No, no more reality. No? Future yet to come. No? The present moment is the only reality. If you don't have mindfulness awareness, how can you develop the awareness of 
the present moment. That's so why you cannot understand truth. Huh? You cannot see things as they are. You cannot understand what is one unless you have the silent mind to be with the moment, to understand all. So it's not a knowledge one. That's why the silent mind very important. Stability or some more to feel to tell. Just do until that one very stable. Then develop the continuity of mindfulness. Before I was just talking for a long time, I was saying, not until your daily mindfulness stabilizes, your real meditation you haven't started yet. You can't see anything without mindfulness. You really have the direct seeing. You must have the silent mind. The direct seeing. Uh, uh, that the word I use uh, become very clear ah, to you. Right. You know why or not? Because before you develop the stability or uh, even after uh, or awaken to it, uh, you cannot describe you one uh, I realize. But this thing need a lot of understanding because you know that thing is but you cannot describe it because there is no word for you to describe it. This is not a common thing. Not a knowledge where everybody already know. Like a lot of things about the nature, about the unconditioned. I have to use my own words uh, to actually explain like specific phenomenal awareness. Spatial awareness without saying, not in the teaching one. Book also never mm. uh, then a lot of things uh, just like what is the tea? How can I can explain to you is awareness before the moon. But the moment you know the aggregate to power mundane mind. But this stability to explain this is not easy one. You are very stable until your nature is very stable. Then you come down the creation. Of. Then you start to understand why Xuanhua and the Buddha say Ma is a forerunner. Xuanhua is a forerunner. The moment I heard that, I understand because I realized the nature already. Yeah, everything created by the mind. That's why you don't realize it. You don't realize it. You always use a thought to memory, yeah, to knowledge, yeah, to understand. Yeah. You understand the thought. Yeah. Anyway, you, you try to think you know. Oh, why is a foreigner? Why run? Yeah? Uh, why foreigner? Yeah? They can't put out the creation. Yeah. Then, when mind arrives, everything, yeah, to you, no meaning. Yeah. You know, mind, yeah. mind is mind. Yeah. When mind arrives, but what if everything arrives? The word is very profound one. Mm-hmm. Unless you realize this, you cannot relate to all this. That's why I say all these teachings are for enlightened mm-hmm. beings, not for normal human beings. Mm-hmm. So, for Hua Jiu Shi Zhe Yang, explain the truth unless you establish it or understand it. That's why initially, when my nature awakened, 1989, I don't want to teach. Everything I come to know and realize is the opposite of what the Buddhist people, human convention do. It's totally different. Then even after early Nisi, you just lie, come from back to Klangabut. But later on, they realize there's a lot of very nice things, very profound things they haven't heard before. Too bad, ah, two years, three years, four years, they haven't seen it again. Because not much affinity after that. I think they are coming. They are coming thing erupted. And they will break off on their own. One. They will go and do their own thing and all that. They said after that, only those who have affinity want to stay on. But at that time also, everything become like very quiet. 
，哎，很奇怪哦。After that, Nitria came. After Nitria came 啊，哇 ，everything start again 哦。水安，啊 ，before 水安 was 蜜蜂诶，蜜蜜。And you know how they contacted me 呢 ？One day, this chief 啊 ，the president 啊 ，he already arrange one speaker 啊 ，to speak one 啊。The speaker last minute from Fake you know, cannot attend. Then he panic lah. He told Suyan, "Eh, can get a replacement or not? Tomorrow is the talk." Oh, Suyan, tell no true Mi Fong lah. We all Mi Fong my uni mate lah. We all Buddhist society lah. Last last time Suyan not Buddhist society. I don't believe all this nonsense. Then Mi Fong every time hear me speak the Dharma, he he say let's look for Kim Kun lah. So Suyan call me. Oh, I said, oh, okay lah. I said, I free on Sunday. So he told Jim, oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Then he himself came to be MC, you know, Jim. Wow, he heard that talk was so good. Then he came to be the first one. He came after the talk. He came and asked me, oh, you can summarize within that one and a half to two hours. All the Dharma that is required, you can summarize within that one and a half to two hours. All the Dharma that is required, with such clarity, you know, never heard anybody that. Then the next day, ah, do you teach meditation? Then I say I teach. Ah, oh, then, ah, can teach us ah. Then we phone panic ah. We phone know she side door one ah. All the rising body one. Ah, then later on, okay ah. Maybe meant to be. Then brother Jim can lie. He go and tell the secretary ah, the 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 in charge one ah, of Dharma activity. He put Tio on the speaker list. I want to book him for the next three years. So that's why I schedule my talk for the next three years. That's how I went over to Naga Suya Napena. Then from Suya Napena, Taman Naga, ah Taman all came up. All the rest came up. Then you all is because of the Jembaka side and your friend, the Banting one, ah Banting, Ang, Ang, and then all start to come. Then a lot of things just fall on the plane. Meant to be or be or not. That's why when things want to arise, the condition will arise. And how they arise is very amazing. Sian do sian bu tao. What are you saying? Let you plan also, you cannot plan. You're so perfect one. Then everyone that come, I don't know them. Then the retreat. Oh, after that the retreat. Oh, start with Fraser Hill. After Fraser Hill, only Cameron Highland. The Cameron Highland. 头尾都很多年的。Two o one three start， 三四五六七八九十年，九八了，不要丢 seven years already。九年。Seven time。But Fraser Hill two o one two 就 start。Fraser Hill 是第一个咯 ，before she and retire， 他 book 的 bungalow，I think ten dollar nominal cost 呢。Very big bungalow with cooking facility, everything. So we have our first retreat there. One weekend only that one. Oh, they like it so much. Brother, the Fraser said, is it one year prior to Cameron? Yeah, yeah. Consecutive, ah. Yeah. After that, they look for place, ah. Well, Sui Han retired. He cannot get that place. That is two o one two. Come on, Fraser two o one two. Two o one two. We, you, that guy, spiritual trip, ah. Two o one two. To Thailand, ah. That means Fraser here and Thailand same year, lor. No, Thailand year end. Ah, yeah lah, same year lah. Okay. Well, the Thai Thursday class start now. 二零零九啊 ，Thursday class. In Brazil, 那天我在讲，我讲在 camp， 我在那边就是有看到一个这样子一个 layer 这样子，那个是什么 ？No, you just relax and do it. You feel to the you relax and do it. The nature must open up. 嗯，它会 open up. Then the in. Ying and Yang energy will melt inside. You just relax and do it. Then let it happen. Small to be understood. Just like it. The more relaxed you are, the more movement is there. That nature need the silent mind, and to relax is to have more silent, more awareness. That's why the deep relaxation, the mind go in very deep. Then after that, the mind that come out of it, ah, is like slowly, slowly become conscious again. It reach the surface, ah, then it become conscious. But when it reach the surface, it different again. 
the, before you reach Rizay, Sizay, you also know him, yes? By then, your Dhamma understanding already very stable already. Mm. Means you already know no reality, uh, the empty nature uh, of the within, all you know already. Uh. That's why you finally end up, think also like that, don't think also like that. No meaning, uh. no reality. Uh. At this moment, you can die. <laughs> you will not die. Mm. But there is such thing as karmic nature, such thing as the condition world, the Indian power. Everything is like real but empty. Even you can only recall through memory, and that's why they say all oh, history or recorded as history. Uh, but which history is the correct history? Nobody knows. Yeah, make a the interaction uh, create a history. Uh. That is according to you. That's a historian in who write. Uh. Uh, but the actual history, only that person that go through may understand. Yeah, there are a lot of his story and history, only he know one or she know one. Nobody else can know. But the beauty of this Dhamma, this cultivation is really amazing. When you understand uh, that nature should be all, then the understanding are all. Oh, everything is there. It's like the secret of light, everything is there. Then with this understanding, how can you share with the world? That's why this segmented line, the condition is there. No? That's why Kwan Si in the nature came in 86, asked my nature to move fast. Then after that, my Kriyaju line, he requested me to share with the world the true understanding of this teaching and the secret of the shortcut of the Bodhisattva way. Well, this understanding that I passed down uh, will help a lot of form and mind to evolve uh, and become uh, great being very fast one. Uh, you won't get lost during the non-sasana. So this teaching is very useful. And what I understand on, uh, is the true teaching. Uh. That's why he used the word zhen fa. Oh, and the Buddha word come out on, uh, as he speak, as he laughed. Oh, see, uh, they were word by word like that, like somebody do calligraphy on a golden one. Chini pa chen fa chuan xia chi with the laughter at the back. Five times all repeated as the image animates. Chi lai, sang chi ta ju, nang ta jin si ju pao shen. First time my, like, before I wake up, dream like, so vivid one, so clear one, and colorful one. And the real Maitre and not the one with the big tongue. This one is very elegant. <laughs> and it animates uh, from the wooden thing it animates. It's quite similar to the one we see in this uh Klang one. No, Klang one. Klang one. Berlin. Ah, uh, Berlin the place. Naka uh. Maitre uh, Meo Tamida. Near the Stupa one. Y you know why? Uh, he he one got uh, the head is like the Sumero one. More, 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 that's why we the common Yugo Tan and Goki, Oman Sanchi, Sucker retreat to Puyan, I tell you, a lot of you all will become very different. Well, when you have eight to nine days, I tell you, you will transform. With this style of understanding, you do what you will transform. Because there are sharing in between, and most of the time, you can be mindful, aware, attentively listen, then you can rest, relax. Then go back to your room also, you can do the mindfulness, lying down, awareness. And throughout the day, you can be mindful. And that type of training is very good. One. And that play very conducive one. All the 
great being the nature, uh, their energy are there on. Then the not say Dharma protector, the divas up there, some of the beings up there, they also very special and very unique. Like now, is he come to enjoy them for a few talks. Uh, with that, there is a clan of Messi. Is it Messi? Messi. Uh, he is that sister. He is that sister. He is very close to Joyce. Also. Monica, Monica, the sister. Monica, the sister. She was in the early days. She was in the early days. She was in the early days. She came to me and said, She was in the early days. 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 啊，他们他们讲的话很奇怪喽，就是你也有一份，这个给你，这个给你，这个给你，嗯，哎，准提菩萨的你就也容易拜神那边，他的新加坡的 friend 呢，嗯，那个人家，啊，他里是到没事就他跑来跟我讲嘛，他说准提要你们真的准提的，嗯，是吧？ Do free activity. Oh, 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 oh